Well, if you've ever seen a Tony Khan show, and we've seen a lot of them, I mean, this was unusual. And so clearly there was a reason for it. I mean, I was stunned as well. I mean, he had his family there. His family's in the front row. When he's, he kissing got his, he's kissing out, his daughter. He's kissing his daughter during the match. I mean, it was and yeah, the whole family's there. You know, and, and it's the not like they're in, there. And it's not like they're he, in ball. It's not like they're they're in Baltimore. You know, where they drive there from 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 Maryland, right? I mean, this was um, or, or Delaware, I should say, Laurel, Delaware, but. Um, like they're in Los Angeles, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's yeah. everyone there. The mom's there, the dad's there, the kids are there. You know, everyone's there right in the front row. So so the family's there and you know, when he got choked out, I mean, they're just crying and they're so sad and the crowd is stunned and I mean, it had been a great match, but I mean, he, he essentially what happened at the end is he took this German right on his head and neck. He got hit with the Larry. He kicks out. He goes for his burning hammer. Joe switches. He puts him in a choke. So Mark's fighting. Fighting gets to his feet. Joe gives him another sleeper suplex onto his head. He puts him back in the choke. And Mark goes out. And they announce Joe the winner. And then the fans are shocked. And the fans are crying. I think, I, think, I think all the fans thought the same of as Of course they all did. thought that he was going to win. So yeah. the, the, to me, the key is when it was over, you know, Joe got in his face. He extended his hand. He actually gave him a handshake. And the announcers, you know, he gets a big standing ovation. He got a standing he ovation. The sky. Yeah. He's crying. He hugs his mom, his sister, the kids, the wife. And the announcers are very much talking about how, you know, can Mark Briscoe fight his way back to win this title that he's always wanted to win? Yeah. So and to me, it, it was like, it, okay, it here's like the story. Trying tell, they're trying to tell yeah, a longer story. You know, he had this tragedy in his life, and then he immediately gets his shot, and then he shockingly loses the match. And so now it's like, you know, just, you know, he has to fight. He has to. W w at first, I thought that he lost here because they were going to work on him fighting his way to the world title. But, you know, the story they were telling well, they was they, he. You know, they they could do they that. They could, but the announcers were telling the story, he wants this TV title. This is the belt that he wants, and he didn't get it here. And so presumably, I don't know if it's going to be building all the way to final battle or if it's going to be the next Ring of Honor pay-per-view, but he's winning this title. And I think that this was just, you know, instead of just making it the thing that everybody expected, like there's going to be these roadblocks that he has to get to, so when he actually wins it, it's going to be even bigger. Yeah. Well... If it's if it's done that way, you know what I mean. Like, again, I don't. I mean, I I've, I've seen times when people have booked this and you miss your timing, and I don't think that in this case that will be the case. But it's always possible because timing is everything in this business. Um, I'm not like again. I don't know the whole story, but at first my thing was like this was the time. This was just the right time to do it. But again, if the, whatever the next pay per view is in a couple months. Um, if you do it then, will it be bigger? Um, perhaps. I mean, I don't, I don't know. You know, it'll probably be the same. But, um, you know, I mean, we'll have to wait and see how this thing plays out, I guess. But uh, I was, that was the one I was surprised about, you know. Uh, and, and, you know, but we'll have to see how it I how think plays every out. person on the planet was surprised by that one, quite frankly. <laughs> Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Someone needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.